I thought it'd be kind of interesting to show a day in a life of what I'm doing when I'm not cooking and just my normal daily routine since cooking is not my full-time job. So here we go. I don't have an exact routine I do every single day, but on a typical day, I like to go for a walk in the morning, some kind of exercise, a run, a hike. Right now it is 8.26 in the morning and I am one mile into my walk, hoping to do at least one or two more and then I'll head back. One of the reasons I chose this path this morning is because I have a envelope to send and there's a mailbox at the end of my neighborhood that's about a mile away. So I thought I'd just walk there this morning instead of drive. So I don't know the next time I'm gonna drive. So why not? Package secured. Done. All right, 1.4, 1.14 miles in. Let's see if we can hit another one and a half. All right, we're pretty much home. 3.06, not bad. Now I do think I'm gonna cook and make some cauliflower steaks with this fabulous butter. I think they're gonna be caucho y pepe cauliflower steaks. So that's Parmesan and pepper, maybe a little paprika on there. I'm gonna um, bake it in the oven. This is the plan, get it nice and crispy and golden brown. And then, yeah, then we'll go from there. First step is always the setup. I try to make it as easy as I can as possible. So I just, look at this thing. I put the camera up here. It weighs it down a lot, so we put a weight. Actually works really well now, I would recommend it. The final product, ready for this? Beautiful. All right, now it's time to work work. I have a full-time job running conferences and tours, and so I sit here with my beautiful view and work all day. I'll probably just work here for the next five or six hours until I get tired and I need a break, and then I'll get back to work. <laughs> During this whole time, I have to think about dinner. I think I'm gonna make ratatouille because the vegetables are kind of going. It's been hot out, they need to be used up and the ratatouille is, but it just takes a hot sec because you gotta do the mandolin and slice it. So TBD on that. If I don't make it today, I definitely have to make it tomorrow. And now I'm stocking on some homemade pesto and ranch goldfish that I just made. I have willpower against um, sugar and desserts, which I also make a lot, but when it comes to these salty, savory things. Mm. Break time. And back to it. Here's the setup. A little water, hydration, and I have some headphones here, and then I got a highlighter so I can just click it, I don't even use it. It's about 3.30, I think I'm gonna shower and focus on some ratatouille, maybe do a little work after, but again, getting a little bit of a headache, so time to take a break. Sneak peek at the ratatouille as it's cooking. Oh, here we're on steam. Oh, beautiful. I have the little extras that I didn't fit in there on the side. Not planned at all, but today I got a gift package from Unreal. They sent me like one of everything of their little sweet snacks. I've tried, we can quickly go through them. I've tried this one and this one. Love this one. This one's great. I'm just not a huge peanut butter person, but like 10 out of 10 would highly recommend. This is dark chocolate coconut bars, kind of like an almond joy or a, what's the other one without almonds? Whatever that is, but it's less sugar, no soy, like three grams of sugar, vegan, all that great stuff. This one is dark chocolate peanut butter cups. Um, this one is dark chocolate with crispy quinoa. I've actually already opened this one because I was super curious. I've never tried it before. Mm. Mm, that's dangerous. This one, dark chocolate covered peanuts. Just like peanut M&Ms, but better. Dark chocolate peanut butter cups with crispy quinoa. And finally, dark chocolate almond butter cups. Mm. Highly recommend. You can find these at Costco, and I found these at like Safeway or Whole Foods or somewhere. They're, they're everywhere now. 
Kind of. Not sponsored, but if they're watching, I am open to a sponsorship. Now we're gonna make some pasta on the side. I found this really awesome pasta. Gluten-free rice lentil pasta. It actually stays together and it has like a fine texture, not really too gluten-free that falls apart. Really love it. Not sponsored, just highly recommend. Always salt your pasta water heavily, not just a little sprinkle, like a few, few couple little major sprinkles. Okay, for dinner we have, this is plain pasta. This is pasta with a brown butter lemon sauce delicious to die for super easy to make too and then we have the ratatouille it's cooling down just came out of the oven these are the little extras don't look at them they're not as pretty and then i also have this uh, little extra baguette that i'll probably dig into as well and that's it if you like these maybe i'll do a few more see ya if you did like them let me know like comment subscribe all that fun stuff see ya